see that scientists have proven now that dogs and cats see ultraviolet uh, frequencies, which of course leads to anyone that's had dogs and cats and uh, seeing ghosts or fairies or um, whatever. Yeah, we've got a one of Stephanie's cats, uh, the white one with one blue eye and one brown eye. She is always playing and chasing after fairies around here. It's so cute. I mean, it's seriously cute. And also, I had someone send me a, a link to uh, the Icelandic beliefs in fairy, fairies, elves, gnomes, trolls. Uh, that country is still, there's a lot of stories about, and there's a lot of people who have uh, seen these folk, these, what do they call them? I can't remember what they call them. Anyway, they still have a lot of um, uh, memories of seeing these little folks and uh so it's really really interesting to go on youtube and find them that uh they have they're careful about interacting with them they also have seen sea monsters uh like nessie that kind of thing so the icelandic people are really probably uh, going to be one of the first groups that actually see these guys um, for themselves because they still have very strong beliefs that they exist and they also have very strong memories of when they were children and they played with these elves and gnomes uh, as they were young. So I know that my mother told me that she remembered playing with fairies in Wyoming out by the creeks and out in the forest. Uh, of course, Stephanie is still playing with, with fairies. And so if you have any memories of uh, playing or seeing with uh, dead people or fairies or elves or, or anything, unicorns, dragons, they have little tiny dragons too. Uh, they exist. And they're really, really cute. Uh, anyway, if you have any memories or that kind of triggers something, go ahead and write about it below and share it with each other. Okay? Because the more you talk about that, uh, those guys, have, they can really lower their vibrations to, mm, uh, sometimes they can dip down into the fourth dimension range. Uh, they won't stay there, but they might dip. So those guys you're going to be able to see, and uh, there's a lot of aliens watching. Now, most of them, you've got to get into the fifth dimensional vibrations, at least the lower ones before you start seeing them. But law of attraction, remember, you want to go to timelines where you can see them because if you're on timelines where you can see them you know that you're either in 5d or close to 5d and not just fifth dimension for a split second or a few moments uh, if you can see them consistently or talk to them or play with them uh, then you're you know you've you spent some time in 5d which is awesome also if you remember playing with any of these entities the way you vibrated when you were a child, of course, children always vibrate higher than their adult counterparts. And so if you can remember seeing any of these beings when you were a child, if you will meditate on that event, then what it will do is it will help you find the vibration that you were at. Uh, the, and you can do it again as an adult. Uh, if you're going to do that, the meditative state I suggest you go out into like a little creek or uh, around trees. If you can find mushrooms, um, flowers, anything like that. If you can go out and go into a meditative state and remember that event or those events whenever you were a child and then open your eyes and look out your peripheral vision. And what you'll see first is kind of fast movements sometimes you can see sparkly colors but you need to give credence and appreciation for that if you feel if instinctually you feel that they're there then talk to them give it credence give it validity um, so that you can give more energy to that belief and that will help you get to the fifth dimension okay 
Sometimes that m might be easier to get you to fifth dimension and ignore what's going on around you in the world rather than uh, watch what's going around in the world and see peace and harmony and health for all humans. Uh, we have seen a lot of the opposite. So it might be easier for you to see uh, Gaia as beautiful, especially if you go out in nature and she is beautiful. And then call on those magical creatures and your pup friends to give you a hand. Okay? Does that make sense? All right, guys. Uh, that's it for this one. And I'll talk to you later. Huge hugs. Bye. Did that all backwards, didn't I? I'm trying to keep you on your toes. Bye now.